Welcome to Aerobics All Star. Well, we've got some luscious legs workout to go through today. All because you've wanted it due to your response, asking for more legs. But be careful, not too much of these body conditioning exercises. It's also important that you include lots of cardio work into your workouts. We'll be hitting the floor immediately after the warm-up routine for some side leg exercises. So the focus will be hips, thighs and butt. Warming up, four more. And three, two, and one. Taking your feet apart, so just marching with your legs, coming out to the side, press, and press, and press. Now press it out, tap. Little roll through that waistline, relax your shoulders as you allow your upper body just to do a rotational position. Soften into your ankles so you're not locking into your knees or your ankles. Eight to go, one, two, three, four, little twist, five, six, seven, and side toe tap. The other way, Mia. <laughs> press out, press out. Now let's go again. Twist it out. Now you got me doing it. <laughs> Five and six, seven and eight. You know how sometimes you do something, you, you your body's saying, look, this doesn't feel right, but your mind is like, no, I want to do it. Just one of those days, I think. Four more. And five, six, Seven. Now take a march in position on your right foot, lift up, exhale coming down, again lift up, easy walk, but not a big one, just a tiny one, moving forward and backwards. Now come up to the front of the room, because I want you to actually do an easy walk going backwards, so it's like drawing an hourglass shape. So stay on my feet cameraman, thanks Marigo, step back, here we go, so come forward, then move it behind, yay. Press out, shake it, and out we go. <laughs> Let it go back. Bigger, if you've got lots and lots of floor space, step it behind you, forward. Which way are we going? Two more times, one to the back, one to the front, second time to the back, second time to the front, and let it stretch out to the side. Good job, everybody. All right, let's keep your arms down, working onto your legs. Long side toe tap. We're going to change this into a lateral exercise. So we'll do three toe taps. Walk it across to the left. And it's three here. Trunk stays upright. Really try and focus on centralizing the upper body. So you don't want it leaning too far forward or too far back. More likely it tends to be tilting too far forward. Sitting down on your legs. Press and press press. The tapping foot is just fairly light. Shift your weight to the supporting leg instead. Moving on, reach up, travel and then begin to really extend up through your arm lines. So now the whole body is warming up together. Watch for the breathing, press out. One more on the right, lunging, lunging, good. Now continue with the legs, however, change the angle of your arms. We're going to punch it to the front of the class. Then release it, now left, right, left, again. Add a little propulsion if you're feeling energetic enough. Push. Now when you come back to this corner, after this, we'll change it back into an easy walk. Here we go. Easy on the right, step out. Move it behind and forward again and behind, twice more, press out. Easy and nice and relaxed, gang. Good, now basic step touch, just let your legs kick out to the front. Let it go, hold your waist in nice and firm, making it a bit more harder. Pull that knee up towards your chest. This is a good exercise, a little tough on your legs, but well worth working on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and one, and just let it kick out. Relax your arms and shoulders. Taking your feet apart. And what we're gonna do now is sink down on top of those thighs. Preparing yourself now for some leg workout. Sinking. Eight, seven, you're almost to the end now. Continue maintaining that nice pace. Two counts, move it down. One, two, step it up. Last time, we're moving it down. And then hold your body up tall, take a deep breath. Exhale, and that completes your warm-up. We'll see you back on the ground, ready for some side leg exercises. Stay with us.
All right, are you ready? Take what you need, particularly for areas such as hips. You might want a little bit fold, a folded towel or a blanket underneath those hips. Coming down onto the ground, we're starting to work into some side leg exercises. Alignment is very important here to maximize, to get the most out of your bent, uh, workout. Be stacked, so you want your top hip directly above the bottom one. Same applies for the shoulders. So if you're just walking like this at this present time, you've got to pull yourself up, get yourself nice and high and begin to raise the leg up. Being a little higher with your shoulders will limit the range of movement in this part of the body. In a few moments, we'll take the head down and you can feel the difference in the exercise. So start to lift those legs up. See that the knee, the foot, including the bottom leg, everything is pointing to the front of the class. Press out, use your breathing. Okay, the muscles will fatigue quickly with this particular exercise. Deep muscles of the hip are being worked here. Four more. Pressing at one, release. Two, coming down with some resistance. So you're not just letting the head drop down or the leg. Rest the knee in front. Give yourself a little bit of a stretch and a release. We don't want to fatigue the muscle. Now we're going to execute the same exercise again. This time, the head stays down. So let's give it a shot. We're going to slide ourselves further down the mat. Our arm is here. I'm going to actually support my head, but you may choose to rest the head down. The choice is yours. Here we go. Lifting up. So you'll find the difference there. Can you see how you can just bring that leg up a wee bit higher? Try not to overdo it though. Really focus on the resistance, on the lowering of the leg. Resist. Resist. So imagine there's a balloon between the knees. You'll squeeze into that balloon. Pressing it out. The foot may be flexed or pointed, whichever is the most comfortable. You can feel it working by now. Eight. Woo. Seven. It doesn't take long. Six. Five. Stay with it. Pressing out four. Admittedly, it's been a long time since I've actually done these sort of exercises and releasing it down here. Let it rest. Give it a little bit of a stretch. Let the muscles recover. We're going to go straight into the other side. So let's try the first variation, being up on your elbow. Naturally, if you have a collarbone or a shoulder or an arm injury, certainly take your head down. Stack the legs and lift it up. Really feel yourself pulling up nice and tall. Make the underside of your body also work in the exercise so it's able to lift up and it manages the spine, helps to keep the spine in a stable position. Eight, use the breathing. Resistance on the way down, don't forget. Another set of four counts. One, press down. Two, hold yourself up now. One more time, good job. And then release, let the leg rest. Keep lifting up nice and high so you're trying to take that waist back into the body. Now try the second variation. Release. I'm going to support my head. Once again, you can always keep the head down. Here we go. Immediately kick into the breathing. Exhale, resisting on the way down. So check that the alignment of the foot is also long and strong. Press up, long through your legs. These exercises are excellent for hip development, particularly if you're quite hip in the, uh, weak in the hips in certain parts of the hips. If you do have problems with your hips, be guided by your doctor or your physiotherapist. Go and get it checked out. And releasing it here. Wow, felt that one. Releasing it down there. I also felt it inside my leg muscle. Did you feel that too? I think it's due to the foot being held in one position. So let the muscle stretch out. Good job, everybody. And releasing it now. We're actually going to flip you over to rest on your tummy for this next exercise. So girls, lie down on your tummy. You're going to rest like here, and this is called single leg extension. Have your legs fairly close together, take the head down, turn it to the front of the class. I'm going to keep my head up, and it's simply allowing one leg to lift like so, pressing it out. Now I'm going to move over to Emma, so follow me. Again, I'll provide you with some cues and some tips to get the most out of this particular exercise. Emma's got her forehead resting on the back of the hand. That's a good alignment for the neck. Another way is to turn the head to the side. If you've got it twisted to the side, don't forget it needs to also turn the other way. So be sure to alternate. See that you don't take the movement anywhere beyond the hips. So Emma, just quickly demonstrate the incorrect way. Raise the leg so high, up high. There you go, avoid that. It really rocks the pelvis. It's very unstable across your back. So returning to that normal position, hips down. Long through your back. This needs to be really open. 
okay? We want to protect this part. Stay with this one for as long as you can. A good stretch is to coming up on your knees and we'll see you right after this for more. Well, welcome back. You may want to sit up and just have a quick look at the exercise as Mia demonstrates this particular movement. Fantastic for the back and the hips. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Two up, two down. <laughs> Very nice, girlfriend. Keep the shoulders down. Arms need to be really stable to give you some good support. Notice how Mia is coming up in a straight line. You may articulate through the spine. Articulate back down so the choice is held here. Important thing to keep the knees sharp and tracking over the center of your legs. So this needs to really be really holding nice and stable. All right, two counts up. Let's hang in there for a set of four. I'm not gonna be doing this exercise due to my microphone. Good, let's do two more and then we're gonna sit up after this. All right, one more time. Good work, Emma. Lift, lift, and then coming down. Take your knees into your chest. Roll yourself up. Let's come up to a sit position. Cross your legs, like so your elbows in front of the knees, lean your body into your thighs and just have a nice stretch into those hips. Hold it here. Okay, to release any catchiness in the back, a little twist is often helpful. Turn to the side and let it go. All right gang, we go back to the side of the body again. This time the head is actually supported. This top leg crosses over and it's the inner thigh muscle that gets moving. Lift and down. Now if you find it very hard on your hips, place a folded towel under your hip to give you some support into the hip joint. Keep lifting up through the leg. Avoid collapsing the leg down. I know you may be feeling a little tired, so just do what you can. Get that stretch happening. Nice inner leg work. Four, breathing out. Fire up that waistline. Feel that waist pulling in. And it's five. Lifting six. Keep the shoulders drawing back. Seven. One more to go. Eight. And let it go. Tuck your knees in. Roll yourself up and out to the other side. Moving quickly so the leg doesn't get a chance to cool down. And lift it up. Easy exercises that you can remember. Put them into your regular exercise routines. You may try and exercise with them at least three to four times a week. Good ones to do after, say, a cardiovascular section, after a good cardio workout, or if you enjoy running outdoors, after your run, before your stretch, you can do these sort of exercises when you get home. Okay, and then follow that up with a nice stretch. So that will give you a really good overall body workout as well as a cardio workout. Set of eight to go through. Begin to activate your pelvic floor muscles. Every time the leg comes up, squeeze these muscles up. If you're unsure what they are, they're a group of muscles. So every time you go to the bathroom to pass water, hold the floor of your water and you can feel these muscles tightening. Men and women should be doing them regularly. Two more. Lift, release. Lift and release. Now bring yourself up. A nice stretch to do after that one. Soles of the feet together. Hands go behind your back. Pop your arms up and let your knees fold out to the side. It's a good one to release the hips. Also good to do the stretch. Pressing it out and releasing it here. The next exercise focuses more on the muscles of the upper body, but you're also going to still use your legs. Have your fingers pointing into your hips. Lean back slightly. Raise the hips up. Be in a straight line. And then bring yourself down. The idea is to try and keep your thighs together. Really lock your thighs in. Feel as though the outside thighs is merging into the inner thighs. Lean back, reach up, point your toes back, chin forward, and then up, down. Now try it with the knees bent, and pull yourself up. Push your knees over so your body now looks like a tabletop, and come back down. For more challenging movement, feet together, raise the hips up, take one leg forward and then bring yourself down. Work your arms, come on, lift up. Extend the other leg forward and releasing it down. Stretch your legs out in front of you, two counts up, same. One, two, down and two. Try not to throw your head back. Notice if your legs are rolling out, squeeze them in together. 
Good. One more time. Chin to the front. And releasing it. Bend the knees. Ready? Knees bent. Two counts. Exhale. Inhale. Draw the hips up. Squeeze your butts nice and tight. Two more. One. Two. Coming down. Last one again. Lift it. And down you go. Releasing it here. Well done, everybody. Turn to the front. Crossing out through those legs. Hook your arms over your knees and let your body merge into your thighs. So great workout for shoulder development, arms, fantastic work for your back. Work the legs as well. And releasing it. Now, believe it or not, it's now time for stretching. Time really flew on that one. So stay with us. We'll be right back here, ready to join you and work you into a stretch. Don't go away. Let's stretch. Extend your legs out. Now this is the part where you can always remove your shoes, get some air circulating through your feet and also stretch your muscles of your feet out. We're going to keep ours on. Press down through the back of your legs. Take your hands behind you. Lift up through the base of the spine. Okay. Working strongly through a seated position will encourage good alignment through the body as you're about to start into your stretches. Before you go forward with the chest, be sure to really ground your legs into the floor. So anchoring them down, and so you don't want any light to penetrate underneath the back of your thighs, your knees, or your calf muscle. Sitting up tall. What can be helpful here, if you cannot hold your feet, is to have a towel wrap around your feet. And you can hold the side edges of the towel. Lengthen out through your hips. So you can reach for your feet. Stay right up. Continue to align the head over the spine and pull forward from the hips. I'm trying to, not avoid, to avoid rounding the back. Pull up instead. So really feel yourself lengthening. Tailbone goes under. And let it go. Okay, hold that right knee in. Pull it in. Take the other leg in. If you find yourself a little bit too squashy, certainly move your feet further away. Link one arm across the knees. Twist the spine. Open and spread wide across your chest. Pull up tall, move the spine back into your abdomen and change other corner. Continue to monitor the knees that they don't drop out to the side or one leg collapsing. So stay up strong, pressing up. Avoid pushing the body toward the legs. Be upright. Lovely twisting stretch to create mobility into the spine. Now you might want to lie down for this one. We're actually going to be doing it from a seated position. So if you need to lie down, you can also do the same stretch. To get yourself into the movement, lean back, rest the foot across the thigh, and then bring your thigh, uh, body up towards the leg. You can feel a nice stretch into the muscles of your hips. Be upright. And release, other side. Cross, turn the knee out, pushing it forward. Monitor the breath. During the stretches, try and hold them for as long as you comfortably can. Let the muscles really allow themselves to adjust. That's a good opportunity for you to use your breathing to help deepen the stretch and help to further relax your body. Okay, coming out of it, crossing out through your legs. Take the stretch over to the side. Rest the hand down. Avoid leaning too much weight into the bottom arm. And up. Other side, cross over, open up that side chest. Raise your right arm again, and this time you're going to turn your body, extend it forward, little finger coming down to the floor, lifting up. Bring this arm up, turn, little finger stretching down. Touch the floor with the little finger. Up, up, up. Good. Take both arms up. Separate your hands, come forward as far as you can. Try not to overwork the shoulders by lifting them up into the neck. Spread them wide and releasing it. Go forward for one last time. This time, just simply allow your body to round over your thighs. Continue to anchor your legs down. If your knees tend to pull up slightly, just pull back on the intensity of the stretch. And releasing it here. Seated in a cross leg position, allow your arms, arms to just rest on your thighs. Drop the head to one corner. We neglect to stretch the neck muscles out. So 
So here's a good chance, something you can do any time of the day, every day. Head to one side, little stretch over. Relax there. Good, now let's try that again. This time with the hands just behind you. Feel how the stretch just moves a little deeper. Open up wide through your shoulders, your chest. Finish it off on this corner. Good, and then releasing it here. Inner thigh and your groin. Bring the soles of the feet together. Hold the toes. If you can't hold the toes, then naturally put your hands behind your hips and allow the side of your knees to move down to the floor. Pull yourself up. Hold it right here. Now, if the next stretch is too strong, by all means, stay with this one. We'll leave you into a wide angle open position. Stretch it out and releasing it here. Well, that's all for the workouts today. Hope you've enjoyed the exercises for the legs, working you through good alignment. Do take care of yourself and please join us again for your very next workout. Bye-bye. Zero production.